how to add an objective. First, go to management, objective management new. Press on the little plus button here to add a new objective. A new line will open up for you to type it in. Do not enter an objective number. That one will be auto-generated. Then select the channel you want this objective to be for. Enter a valid from and to date. This can be a week, a month, a quarter, really your call. Then decide based on the channel you selected, the type of activation or objective you want to for your reps. In this case, we took an LCBO store, so we will go for retail um, display objective. If we went for a licensee account, we, could, we would have selected an OP objective. So in this case, we will go to retail display. An objective description, you can type in any type of information that would be useful for the sales team or any additional information that you would want to add. So in this case, we will put $1 LTO in October. Now, select the product you want the objective to be for. It can be more than one product if you wish. I would not select that option if you're taking a distribution target simply because you really want to follow the evolution of the distribution of that particular product. If you, pick, if you pick more than one, you will not be able to do that. So we'll just pick one in this case. Then you can type in if an image is required. If an image is required, check off the box. The reps will not be able to say that the objective was accomplished or completed until they actually save the picture within the file. So we'll put image required here. And then we will click on save. My new objective will be at the bottom of the page. And then to set the objective for sales team, I will click on the little triangle here on the left. And I will have my reps names, the reps that actually call on um, the retail um, side of the business will be here. I can clearly see the evolution of the distribution of this product for the last month before actually the date the start date of the objective. And I will be able to see the evolution of this one also for the months to come, as well as my current distribution and the number of accounts that all of the reps actually cover. So in this case, based on the current distribution of the product, I can set an objective target for all of my sales team. If I type in zero, nothing will happen. Um, and basically the reps will not actually see the objective itself. So you can select who is actually for who the objective is actually set for in this case. The only neat thing is that you can also actually set the quantity target for the display. So let's say you wanted everybody to have zero, everybody has zero, but if every you want everybody to have a minimum of 30 cases that they have to pull out of the warehouse, click outside of the box and it will ask you if you want to put 30 to everybody. And then you click yes. So that way you don't have to do each individual rep separately. From then, you just basically re-click on, on the little arrow slash triangle on the left-hand side, and your objective is set. So if you actually refresh your page, you will clearly see that your objective is saved, and you've set 20 points of retail display for your sales team. Afterwards, you can actually see the evolution of all your sales team on any objective by clicking on the little triangle again. But instead of doing so, you can also export a provincial report, an Excel-based report that will resume all of this information for you. So I clicked on provincial export. The new report just popped up at the bottom of my screen. I'm gonna click on that one. So the way this report is built is that the first tab is the detail of the, dis of the um, objectives that you set for the sales team. The brand is also linked to that. And you can see per rep, based on the objectives, what they have actually achieved and based on the case target, what they've actually achieved that you've given them. And on the right-hand side, you will see the evolution of the distribution for the product that was selected. On the second tab, you will see how your team is doing as a whole and not for sales reps. 
so you have an overview of actually also um, when you actually added an image that was acquired or not and how many images you actually received on top of seeing the objective target objective achieved so right now currently for this overall <clears throat> period of time uh, they're at 6.3 percent of the objective that just started beginning of July and on the case target there's still um, only yeah, one achieved out of 280 so they're actually behind but they still have time to reach them actually have the full month that is how to enter an objective thank you very much